Hey guys, what's up? So for this video, I just want to suggest a few things on how Leroy could be changed for Season 4. Now obviously the character is an amazing design. It's just he has this whole stigma about the gameplay associated with him. And of course he ruins events like Evil Japan. So a lot of people really don't like this character and it's pretty justified. So I just want to suggest a few nerfs in this video to make him less oppressive. But still like very viable and still like a decent character. But I think these changes are very fair. Considering the character got nuked from the pre-patch Leroy saga. And the character is still so strong. Still considered top 3 by a lot of people. So the first thing I would say is the punch parry follow-ups. I would make it unsafe on block. So if you were to say like jab. Like jab check it or whatever. Like at least you can be able to parry and then like be able to punish and block at least you know you can chop check and be able to punish and block right now it's safe but i would love to for this to be like minus 12 i think that's honestly a fair change another change i would like is back one plus two to be a counter hit launcher i mean counter hit knockdown only so instead of the counter hit launcher he gets right now it would be good if it was just a knockdown maybe he gets free uh, similar to this, you know, that you only get this as a follow-up. That would be a pretty fair change. That would be still a very strong reward for 12 frame mid that has push back and block. So I think that would be a, also be a very fair change. Another one I would talk about is Den 3-2. It's been 16 frame, and of course his Hermit Stance has ridiculous options off it. So I would suggest Den 3-2 to be like 18 frame or 19 frame instead of um, 16 frames. So when Leroy chooses to go for this low as an offensive option, it should be riskier for him. He should be more prone to being counter hit because he can land this string off so much like um, like if you do anything but a jab after a of one on hit, for example, he can then 3 to you, then 3 2, or if you just jab and then then 3 2 afterwards, you know, it's a frame trap. It shouldn't be so easy to access. So he should be taking more risk to enter it. So in my opinion, it should be slower. So maybe I think 18 or 19 frame will be fair for this kind of move with the, the amount of oppressive options it has afterwards. Another change I would like is Hermit 4 to be weak to the opponent's side step left. Why is it, or one direction at least. Side step left or side step right, I don't mind, but one direction at least. Why? Because this move is pretty much homing when Leroy has any Menta plus frames. So, so Leroy is able to do this as a check, so if you try to step, he can check you with this, and then he's able to, I don't know, continue his Hermit pressure. So this being weak to one side will make the Hermit game a lot less oppressive and less of a carry for Leroy's offense. I will make the 1 plus 2 to be minus 10, no, minus 13 instead of minus 10 on block. Right now it is only minus 10 on block, which for me is pretty ridiculous considering the wards you get off of the wall. So this being minus 13 would be a pretty fair change instead of minus 10. I don't see enough Leroy's use this as well. They all of you use the Hermit 4 1 plus 3 string at the wall, which is minus 14. I don't understand why. I see it as a lot from a lot of Leroy's. But 1 plus 2 being minus 10 should be minus 13. Another one, yeah, this, is, this is a big one for me. This is like one of the best strings in the game, this string here. Because all the hits are delayable. On counter hit, he gets um, an orbital spike. So, do, do, do. He gets this whole thing on counter hit, and all the hits are delayable as well. And of course, he goes into Hermit. If it hits you with normal hit, he has all the Hermit pressure. I mean, you know, if the last hit, if the last hit, say, a normal hit that is. So this is way too good to be safe on block because he can, he can cancel the size up permit to pretty much escape offense or read your retaliation with these Tsubaki moves that he has or check you with the permit four or high crush you with the back four. He has a lot of options on block. There is no counterplay to this ring. So this should be minus ten, uh, minus nine in my opinion. So you can jab him for free. So if he, if he commits to the whole string on block, you should be able to check him. You should be able to jab check him. So that would be a really, really, really reasonable nerf for me. And of course, another popular nerf, which I agree with fully, is tra the tracking nerf on his health sweep. Because his health sweep is pretty much, it's not homing move, but it might as well be a homing move. 
So this would be a pretty fair nerf in my opinion to, to nerf the tracking on this. So make make it weak to either direction. Maybe for every size up left, because some of his stuff go track that way already. And he has very strong homing moves anyway. Like his back four and back three, they're very very strong homing moves. And of course he can just realign with the opponents to pressure them. So then three, the, the health weight being slower is super fair in my opinion. Considering the only move that launches and everything. The last change I will make for him is his orbital. His orbital should not be 21 frame. It should be like closer to like 24 frame if not slower than that. Because he has this as a real mix up option with his Dentry too. A lot of the right players like to say, oh you can fuzzy guard this mix up because Dentry is 16 frame and orbital is 21 frame. So people, a lot of people say, oh you can just fuzzy this mix up. but what happens when you come across a Leroy who is extremely good as delaying his timing? So, and then of course the orbital being 21 frame means it could counter hit you out of your delayed reaction. So, this being slower will only benefit and make the whole gameplay a lot healthier to play against Leroy. I think all these changes are very, very reasonable, and I don't see much argument being presented against this because. Honestly, this character still has too much, even though he got a lot of nerfs from before the patch. And that's really it, my opinions. I, I like the design, I legit like the design of Leroy. I, like, I played them myself. I mean, I had to use them in the tournaments because I played against another Leroy pre-patch. And my main characters were just not strong enough at the time, so I had to pick Leroy back. And yeah, that was that's a whole nother story. So... Yeah, I absolutely think Leroy should be touched and these are the reasons why and these are the changes I would propose and thank you for watching.